Welcome everyone. In our previous video, we saw about a logical action loop. In this video, let us see about two logical actions while and go to next iteration. Let's see what is a while loop and how we can use it in our script. Welcome to Little's Law. This is your Vasan Shanmukam. While. The while action allows various items such as web pages to be iterated while a condition remains true and stop, with, stop the iteration once the condition is false and continue with the rest of the user path. Here, a condition is composed of two operands and an operator. Here we have two operands, operand 1 and operand 2 and we have an operator with various conditions. We have contains, does not contain, starts with, does not starts with, ends with, does not ends with and various other conditions. We will see all these conditions in another bonus video. To watch more on Neoload and other techniques, performance testing techniques, please do subscribe to my channel. So to add another condition, we have to click this plus symbol and to remove we have to click this minus symbol and we have two other options where we have match any of the following condition and there is the other option called match all of the following so today we are going to see we have three users we have three users user 1, user 2 and user 3 and this scenario will skip if the user if the logged in user is user 2 and will continue with the user path if it is other than the user name 2 so let's see how it executes And we have to be very careful while using the while condition in case if the while condition is not properly handled it might go to go to infinite iteration so we have to be very careful in defining this while loop So here I'm using three iterations to validate all the three users. And let's start the validation. So here we have successfully completed the three iterations using the user path and we have this while loop so let's see how does it execute it so here we have used this operand 1 where if the user 2 contains the operand 1 2 contains operand 2 then it will go to the next iteration the other condition will execute fine with the other users and here we can see the user 1 has continued with the user path and user 3 has continued with the user path. So in this way we can use the while loop to skip any condition or to continue with the user path based on the condition we are using. Hope you have enjoyed this video. We will see another action in our next video. Please do subscribe and follow for more videos. Thank you.